Hello, this time, we will make a material with iridescent gloss effect. First, create a material and open it. Next, create a camera vector node that returns a vector of cameras. And if you preview the camera vector node, you can see that the color of the material changes whenever the camera angle changes. Then create a vertex normal node that returns a vector of the object's surface. Similarly, if you preview, you can see that the color is the same as the camera vector, but the color position is fixed. Then, using the dot product node, connect the camera vector node and the vertex normal node together to produce the dot product of the two vectors. Now, if you preview the dot product node, you can see that the dot product of the surface and the camera direction is obtained, resulting in a black border and a white gradient inside. This is a similar formula to the Frestal node. Next, create a multiply node. Hold down S and click the left mouse button to create a parameter node, and connect the nodes as shown in the video. If you preview the multiply node, the border of the material has turned black, and you can see the gradient from the outside to the inside. Next, fix the values between 0 and 1 with the saturate node so that the color does not change. Next, hold down the T on the keyboard and click the left mouse button to create a texture sample node, and change it to a parameter so that you can set the desired texture later in the material instance. Next, set a hair debug color node or a texture with colorful colors to the texture sample node. Hair debug color texture is an engine content, so you can use it by activating engine content in settings in the content drawer. If you preview the texture sample node, you can see that the colors are fixed on the surface. If you connect the saturate node to the UV pin, the colors are gathered in the center, and you can see that the gradient color follows your camera if you move the camera. Next, create another multiply node. Hold down keyboard 3 and left click to create a constant 3 vector node. Change the constant 3 vector node to parameter and set the color as shown in the video. Then, as shown in the video, connect the nodes to add color to the texture. Next, while holding down the keyboard 1, click the left mouse button to create two constant nodes and set the material's metallic and roughness. When finished, save and return to the content drawer. Create a material instance using the material created so far. Select one mesh from start content and place it on the level. Now, set the material instance to the mesh placed in the level to see if the final effect is good.